Hi chess friends, this is King's Executor covering the highlight of round two of the Tata Steel Tournament 2013. And this is the game Levon Aronian against Magnus Carlsen. Levon Aronian is really uh, Magnus Carlsen's rival in this tournament. Uh, Levon won this tournament in 2012 and uh, he shared uh, the first um, place in 2008 with Magnus Carlsen and in 2007 Levon shared his, uh, shared his first place with Timur uh, Rajabov and Veselin Topalov so he really has um, successful history in this tournament uh, Levon is rated 2800 and two elo points uh, and Magnus Carlsen has the record breaking 2861 elo points so Levon had the white pieces and he started off with d4 <coughs> and knight to f6 was Magnus Carlsen's choice uh, probably the most solid and best first move to white's d4 c4 g6 knight to c3 bishop g7 e4 and now e6 to stop e5 knight to f3 castles and h3 to make it difficult for black to develop this light squared bishop a typical device for many white openings and uh, knight to c6 was Magnus's continuation here Aronian immediately grabbed uh, some space in the center with d5 and knight to b4 you might think that this move looks funny because uh, the knight could be kicked here with a3 and uh, but this is no problem because the knight can be ruled to c5 and afterwards uh, in uh, combination with, uh, with uh, a5 and maybe even a4 this knight would be secured So knight to b4 is a justified move and um, bishop to e2 preparing to castle and e6 okay so this is not the uh, most usual um, king's indian setup for black most of the times uh, black plays with e5 or c5 uh, e6 here is really the uh, modest attempt to chip away at white center bishop to e3 rook e8 and now knight to d2 giving uh, white the possibility to play f3 or even f4 uh, or kick this knight b4 and knight to b3 maybe so this is a flexible move a5 by Magnus really preparing <coughs> to retreat to a6 and grabbing space of course castles and uh, now we're on move 11 and uh, Magnus played really uh, solidly here he doesn't want to commit himself too much and uh, does really um, look for useful moves and uh, is just awaiting events with bishop d7 here 
keeping an eye maybe on b5 so that there is no trouble with any knight uh, on b5 rook to e1 now and uh, b6 keeping an eye on uh, the square c5 rook to c1 and king to h8 and now um, this is a clear sign that e5 could be a possibility with uh, sorry knight 2 g8 and afterward uh, afterwards f5 so we, you would have the typical king's indian counterplay and king's indian ideas here a3 was played knight to a6 and uh, queen to c2 e5 so black wants counterplay on the king's side here and is preparing f5 here for sure rook b1 uh, because if black is playing on the king's side white is trying to play on the queen's side knight to g8 b4 and f5 at first sight the engines uh, prefer white here but really this is an equal position knight to b4 and now black uh, has this rather typical idea of exchanging the um, bishop which is blocked in at the moment so this is not uh, really a weakening uh, move is um, a good and favorable exchange in this game though the center opens up and uh, the, la uh, the dark squares uh, get, open, uh, get opened up but um, black played accurately so there is nothing uh, bad with this idea here and now Aronian took on f5 he did this because he's uh, challenging Carlson to find a good response you could recapture either way with knight takes or pawn takes and both has um, both have their uh, drawbacks if you were to take with the knight the e4 square is uh, free for white's pieces so you can easily see a knight getting there or maybe even um, pieces coming to a uh, kingside attack in some circumstances Carlson recaptured with the pawn here and now you see the usefulness of king h8 f4 trying to open up the dark square diagonal which is now not um, protected by a bishop Carlson took this and now check king g8 bishop h5 and knight to f7 so you see this position opens up on the king side um, this looks a little bit scary from black's point of view and black has to play accurately, accurately and uh, this is a position where m many people could easily blunder under the pressure um, it's not so easy to play for black 
Aronian took the rook on e8 to decoy the queen from protecting f6 and this is op occupied now queen to f6 again uh, looking um, to protect g7 takes takes and Aronian uh, refused to exchange queens of course he's waiting for a, bland, uh, a blunder of Carlson and uh, there's of course pawns to recapture still Carlson again wants to exchange queens that eases his position and queen takes f4 exchanges on the queen side and rook to e8 so really the pieces are covering the black king and the posi uh, position is simplifying down but white's pieces are a little bit more active and centralized queen to e5 a uh, very good move centralization and uh, again trying to exchange queens Aronian again refuses this, uh, this and now you see there's nothing so at least Aronian thinks I better get my knights into the game and Aronian hopes that something will turn up King g7 Knight e6 this looks scary but you know the king is on the uh, on the place to be here rook f1 and after simplifications you see the game is burning out to a draw rook takes king g6 now you still have to play accurately as black knight to f4 king g7 g5 c6 exchanging pawns eases the defense so a correct black idea the king has to come into the game takes takes rook e5 again exchanges are good for black knight to e6 check king g6 and rook f6 check and now uh, king h7 would lose immediately to g6 check and uh, you see on king uh, on h8 there's rook f8 ma uh, mate so if king h6 check the pawn is protected and now either rook h6 check decoying the king from pro the protection of g8 so the pawn could queen afterwards or simply rook f8 and the pawn is queening so in this position king h5 is the correct move and the continuation of the game king f3 by Aronian um, was answered with the accurate rook to e3 check and the idea of course in this position is if uh, sorry <laughs> if king takes rook knight takes pawn with check for king king and rook king e4 takes and king g6 this is of course drawn and uh, if white refuses to take the rook king f2 then again takes and if uh, white checks black here the knight takes and king takes rook check and the rook is gone and this is a draw again um, what else in this position if rook h6 king g4 g6 and now we cannot take the knight because uh, g7 would win uh, threatening to queen with check 
So rook f3 check, king e1, getting out of any knight checks. Rook g3 check, king d2, again we cannot take the knight. And now the correct move, rook to g3, g7, king f5 attacking both uh, pawn and knight. Okay, the knight is protected by uh, the rook here. But uh, white is stopped que uh, to uh, queen. If check, and king e4, knight to e2 attacking the rook, we can just take this. And you see, this is uh, an easy draw for white now. Um, knight to c3 to give uh, the white king a possibility to get over, to come over here and exchange pieces of course and uh, king c1 now and you see white manages easily to draw this check and uh, check and now even pinning this knight there's no way through for uh, white or for black. So after the accurate accurate last move of the game, rook to e3 check by Carlson, the game was agreed drawn. So you see, we had a uh, uh, interesting King's Indian type of game, and. Uh, Magnus had no winning chances in any of these um, rising positions in the game, but he showed again that he's a resilient defender and showed that he's not afraid of uh, <coughs> any position uh, that is a little bit worse for him. And um, I think he will come into action when he has a white pieces um, and we just have to wait for this moment uh, I guess in, at Grandmaster level al uh, always the white player is the one fighting for the win uh, most of the times um, especially on this super Grandmaster level where this uh, extremely accurately uh, way of playing is employed and after this position there is nothing whatsoever for both sides okay white has some hopes for black to blunder but uh, Carlson is capable of holding this okay the other games were uh, not the greatest fireworks uh, of today's round. Nakamura uh, lost his position though and uh, again many draws very accurate uh, play. Uh, this was certainly the most uh, interesting uh, game due to the correctness and uh, energetic uh, type of play both players deployed and I hope you subscribe and comment and like the videos and keep up the clicks and um, I hope you enjoy my coverage of the Tata Steel tur Tournament 2013. Thanks a lot.